Grim Scott here, and today I'm doing a re review. Have you ever done something and then went back, looked at it, and realized, dang, I'm not that terrible? And you see all the ways you took up better. I was looking back at, I believe my first review was Team Bullet Train. And honestly, I think I can do better. So I am re reviewing Rail Racer. Welcome to Rail Racer Trilogy number two. Nah, quadruple series. It's first, second, third, and fourth. Yeah. So, let's get started. I am going to set. I'm going to go ahead and give the explanation on who Rail Racer is. For those of you out there who don't know who he is. And the 01 Fox Kids came out with the American equivalent to a Japanese show known as Car Robots. But in Japan, we called it Transformers R.I.D. That season gave us many great combiners such as Omega Prime. It also gave us the 8-changer Megatron. That's why I said 8-changer. Not 6, 8. A Megatron with 8 modes, including a hand, a dragon, a two-headed dragon, a car, a boat, a ship, I mean a spaceship, a jet, and many others. Oh, and a bat mode. So, yeah. They also give you landfill at the same time. And it was a very good series. We got some re molds in it. They took G1 Bruticus Maximus and turned him into Rune Nation. They took Generation 2 Optimus and made him into Scourge. Awesome. Still haven't got my hands on fear, but I am hoping to. Yeah. So, all in all, great season. But, without further ado, today we are reviewing. Don't need that. Don't need that. Rail Spike, the leader of Team Bullet Train. Now, Rail Spike in the show was the older. He was the old guy. Even though looking at his fear, you won't realize it. He was old. He was the old, elder, more experienced leader. Like in one episode, they were trying to... And the rest of Team Bullet Train... Like, where was I? They were chasing Inceptacons, and the rest of Team Bullet Train couldn't fire, couldn't hit them with their guns. He looks and goes, let me teach y'all a lesson, youngsters. He said something like that, you young whippersnappers. Do not remember the exact words. And he has missile pods in his shoulders. He aims the missiles up, fires in the air, lights the sky up, holds that gun, and shoots Decepticons. One shot. And... Thus far, that season, he was one of my favorite characters. He was pretty cool. I enjoyed him. But, we'll get to the packaging right now. So, right here is the Japanese Takara um, packaging. And on the back, I would read it to you, but I can't. I'm sorry. But you do get nice little imagery, his vehicle mode, his robot mode. He turns into a torso and they combine the rail racer. Also known as JRX in Japan. Just like you know. Well, I know. With it and most RID you, figures, you got a catalog, which I miss Transformers having. Anyways. Just take the catalog, you unfold it. Know, 
And yeah, this thing is pretty big. Get a minute here. This is it. Once I have all bots, or so you have Decepticons. Right here, you have Optimus Prime. Move down, you have the Autobot Brothers, X Braun, Cryo, and Sideburn. They have JRX, and the then right here you have Spot Changers. Flip to the other side, you have Megatron. And if you thought I was lying about all these modes, this is only half of them. There's this robot mode. There is a jet mode, a bat mode, two head dragon mode, hand mode, car mode. And when you look at Galvatron, it has a different set of five, giving him a total of ten modes. Then you have, oh crap, what was his name? Don't remember his name, sorry. Who was just a, they recolored a Beast Wars mold, which was pretty cool. And then down here you had the Decepticons. And that. And you got this with each thing, which is pretty decent. Catalog, all something that I missed from Hasbro. I have both the releasing catalogs with the figures. And each film has the same exact instruction sheet, which I'll show you now. I'm a star! Hey! 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 Anyway, it is very big. I mean, wow. And I don't know what kind of paper you're paying me, but this is heavy. That, I better believe it. Oops. I'll just go over the weapon first. This is his weapon. It's a cannon, which I find ironic that I look at the friction and the rail cannon. <laughs> yeah, I find that ironic. He's a train and he's got a robot. Yeah. Anyway, this car is a robot mode, but in vehicle mode, let's do is take that and fold that up. Fold that in, and it does have a three-bar LED. Even though he compared to the other two, you'd think, oh, that's the newest. No, this is how Bullet Train started out before they became Duck Build. Just hold in with me. By the time I get to Midnight Express, you'll understand. Anyways, yeah. And on the side, it says, if I can make that out. It says 500 Cybertron, which I'm guessing is Cybertron's rail system. Awesome. So, anyways, just like a train, it rolls, has tracks. But something that I like about RID, just go ahead and gushing about RID in this review, get out of the way, you know, is you barely see robot parts in vehicle modes. How much of the robot mode can you make out? Barely any. And that's what I love about RD. But anyways, enough with that. Now I get to transformation. To transform him, what you want to do is come back here. You want to separate that. 
bombing. Go ahead. Transformers gone. And you're done with that. Next thing you want to do is take the legs, pull them out, take the feet, just flip this back section up and it becomes the feet. Take the wheels, and they become hill spurs. You take the side right here and unfold it, become side skirts. And then you just untab, spin 180, and there you have his legs. Now he looks highly inappropriate. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Anyways, now you got that done, what you do is you come up top, untab this entire section. Just like that. You spin it 90 degrees, come in here, pull this section down, and you grab right here, right here, spin 180, and it gives you the hand. Just like that. And then, just take this section right here and See what's going on. Give me a minute. Well, or something that's ever happened. We bring the head down. The head is automatically supposed to pop up on a spring. It's never had problem doing it before. Hope that's not a sign of the age of it. But then from there, all you would do is spin the head around, and there you have. Rail spike and robot mode. You know, when I mentioned the age, I mean, this is going on nearly 13 years old. Yeah, I mean, it's old. And I hope that's not a sign that it's deteriorating with age. So that would be terrible. I love this figure. Anyways, I'll give you a close up of it. You have his head, his legs, his fists, and every glorious thing about him. Now, like I said, his shoulders do have missile pods. This side you have three, this side you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have nine and three. Don't see why it's uneven like that, but I don't care. Because it's, he's cool. And you can give him his gun. Just goes in his hand like that. And there he is with his gun. See, right now I'm not even posing him. And you got me, it looks like an action pose. Does it not? Does to me. Anyways, speaking of posing, it's time for posability. Now you have a swivel. A 360 swivel, double jointed elbows. It's pretty cool. So you can get pose like that going on, and that allows for some an elbow, no wrist. His head will go 90 degrees. I mean, it will spin 360. Has ball jointed hips. And due to transformation, he only has a knee that goes that far, unfortunately. But, yeah, he even has toe. So if you wanted, you could pull off a very serious pose with him. Like some, You can pull some dramatic stuff without trying, really. I mean, earlier, I wasn't even posing him, and it looked dramatic. Let's see here. Let's just try out something that shouldn't be that dramatic. Like this right here. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'd love if he was open handed because it looked like he was saluting. But right there, without even trying, he looks action. So that has been the review of Rail Spike. Come back in next review to see Rapid Run. Oh, yeah.